Hi, this is Peter. Welcome to Beyond the Cane Pole. I'm um, going to discuss my EDC kit, and this will probably be in two parts. I'm going to give a quick run through of the EDC kit, um, and then I'm going to give a run through of some particular parts of it that will require me to take it apart a little bit more. Um, now, this is not an emergency kit, it's not a survival kit, although it has elements of that. It is also not something I will take with me every day. Every day I have my multipliers, my lighter, my knife, my wallet, and my keys with me. In that, my key ring also has a ferro rod on it. My wallet has a Fresnel lens, a little plastic magnifying lens, both to see things and to start fires. Um, I usually also keep a bandana or cloth in my pocket, you know, cotton cloth for obvious reasons. It's, it's handy. Um, I do carry also some self-defense items. I may show what I keep in my pocket is self-defense, which is not a firearm, not a knife, at a later date. Um, I also, you know, will travel with a firearm in my vehicle. I do not do it concealed carry because frequently I am places where concealed carry is not allowed. Um, just adding that in there, and there may be video on some things of that nature later on, I don't know. Um, I know some of you may disagree with that. If you do, fine. You know, we, we agree to disagree on things. I just want to be able to have some things that I know that I need. This is what I'll carry with me. Um, don't carry it grocery shopping. Um, I will carry it if we're going on a trip. I will carry it if we're going to the club. Um, there again, depending on where we're going, some of this may stay behind. Some of it goes with me. At any rate, let me start out with the bag first. This bag I got off the internet from a mail order company. It is a shoulder sack. The strap is actually folded up here. It will go to either one of these two D-rings to go over as a sling bag, one shoulder. Um, while I've got this out, in the back pocket here is a poncho. It's just a ripstop nylon poncho. Rothko, I believe, is who makes it. Um, it's not the best, most comfortable thing in the world. doesn't fit me the best, but it's there. I also have some paracord. This is probably 40 foot, 40-ish foot maybe. Um, I don't remember exactly the amount. I've got some more of this paracord inside this bag, and I'll show that in a minute. All right, over here on this side, I have a water bottle with a stainless cup and a few other things inside. I'll show this kit later. I have a Mora knife currently on this one. This is just a Mora companion, I believe. Um, green. Everybody's seen a Mora knife. Just a simple little knife. Doesn't always go with me, just happened to be stuck here. On this side, I have a fishing pole, one of my collapsible poles. I'll get more into that and the fishing kit that I keep right here in a little bit later. I have a flashlight. This is a Schrade flashlight I won. Um, it's got multiple settings, um, even green and red lights. It's just a flashlight, um, takes AA batteries. It was free to me since I won it. I have a sharpening, some sharpening supplies here, leather strop, a um, piece of paracord and a carabiner clip so I can just wrap it around the tree and then I'll hold it once it's wrapped around the tree, pull it out like that strop. I need to get some um, stropping compound for it, I don't have it. I also have a ceramic diamond stone in here, put that away in a bit. Here I just have eyeglass retainer and two of these emergency cheap emergency space blankets. The reason I'm using the cheap emergency space blankets is the first word, they're cheap. Um, I've got two of them stuffed in here and this is stuffed in here. The glasses keeper is just in case I need to put, put my glasses keeper on. I have a little bit of medical supplies here. I have a tin with band-aids, a tin with aspirin and um, Benadryl, a little antibiotic cream, um, some little candies. This has got the mandates in it. Um, these are um, sassafras flavored candies. I have 
seal and milled them into two per, one for me, one for the wife, whatever. I have some hand sanitizer, which is also makes a fire starter. I have some sea salt. We have hot temperatures around here. One of the biggest problems is getting dehydrated, um, heat exhaustion. Sea salt is the perfect blend. And, th and this is raw sea salt. This is not processed bleach. But it's the perfect blend of minerals and everything to help you hydrate back. This and water will be as good or better than Gatorade. I have a tin of my self-made um, sealing wax, fixing wax, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just olive oil and beeswax. It's a great hand conditioner, great skin conditioner, great leather conditioner, protects metals, um, you name it. There's not much that this can't do. I have a glasses cleaning cloth. Um, pretty simple. It's my medical kit. Um, it's not a full complete med kit. I wouldn't trust it to save my life, but you know, 100%. Um, I don't have a suture kit in it, anything like that. But then also, this is stuff that I would have with me for dealing with first, first response things. I have a better kit in my Jeep and with the emergency or get home kit in the Jeep. That's the little tackle box. We'll get we'll get to that in a minute, but I had to take that off to get into the bag, the main part of the bag. Now, this bag has a, a dump type pouch. It's just one big pouch, but it has a pocket on the front and a pocket on the back. Um, fishing line, headlamp, just a cheap Walmart um, headlamp. Um, the Walmart brand, I believe, this Ozark Trails. The headlamp works. Here's my working paracord. This is what I'll cut pieces off of as I need it or use versus the some that's stored back there. Um, Y'all know I'm a diabetic. I like stevia. Um, that's part of my weight loss. I'm uh, going to better detail on that maybe at another time. But you never have stevia in restaurants. I can order some unsweet tea, take the stevia, and make myself some sweet tea. Uh, some bank line. Obvious uses of some thrown line, throw lines. I have a pocket knife, an open L number 10. Um, this is always in the bag. The more a knife is not always with the bag. And if you notice, the size of these blades are pretty similar. There's no need to have this and this. Now this being a fixed blade is a little bit stronger than that being a um, lockback, but you know, there's no need for that when I have this. This happens to be an open L number 10. I have a number seven as a pocket knife. I have some number eights. I have a number 12. Different, different places, different things. Um, I have a 12 foot sewing dressmaker measuring tape. It has inches on one side, um, metric um, millimeter marks and centimeter marks on the other. Just in case you need to measure something. Excuse me, cigarette lighter on top of the one I keep in my box. I believe my girls just pulled in so the dogs are probably going to go off. Um, here is a um, bandana, camouflage, just happens to be the one that's in there. Um, let me go deal with that and I'll be right back. Sorry about the interruption. The girls got home and, you know, they had to do a little bit of appointments and, and shopping. Okay, here we're getting back to my kit. This is my mosquito coils. I keep them in this um, Seresta dog um, flea collar thing. They're just common mosquito coils. If you've noticed, there's two different colors. I know you probably can't see that. There's different manufacturers. Um, buy what's cheap. All the mosquito coils seem to work about the same. And there's a fire kit here, or a char, char tin here. I've got some char in there. I've got a little bit of fat wood in there. I've got another magnifying lens to ignite the char. This is just something I play with. I don't have a flint and steel, um, but you can also throw a ferro down in there, and it makes good for getting char going. 
I have an apron in here. I'm not going to unroll it completely. Uh, just keep yourself clean when you're working with things, sharpening knives, um, cleaning fish, etc. And speaking of cleaning fish, I have one of three of these I own folding fillet knives. Um, outdoor Edge, I like it as a folding fillet knife. I've never been fond of folding fillet knives, they always get gumped up. These seem to be doing okay. I have one in each of my tackle boxes, and I'm keeping one in this bag as a spare emergency. Or, you know, I've got a fishing kit with this bag. That's all that's in that pocket. Now I can reach everything that was in the front pocket. Extra batteries from a headlamp, insect insect repellent. Um, this is something my wife acquired for me. I do not know exactly where she got it. Um, it is SPF 15 and a very good insect repellent. I have a pin, obvious reasons. I have a diamond sharpening rod. This is something I can keep out real quick and I don't have to you know, get my sharpening stuff out. That stone is a little difficult to use. You just hold this, put the knife on it real quick and continue what you're doing until you can get around to actually getting, uh, you know, honing the edge completely razor sharp. Um, that's it for the front pocket. There's some uh, fly line that we'll go over with when I call the fishing kit. And here's my mosquito coil burner. This thing will clip to my belt, um, clip around a belt loop, clip to itself, you know, go around a limb, hang off a stop, whatever. I'm going to go into the mosquito coil burner a little bit more later. Um, I've got somebody who I've recommended one to that I want to show a little bit more about it. Um, you'll just see the mosquito coil. There is a partially burned coil in here, and I'll show some things about it. Uh, that's it. That's my um, EDC stuff. Um, what I keep with me every day. Um, it's like I say, it's not an emergency kit, not a survival kit. Although there are aspects of both emergency and survival in here. It's not what I would call a serious emergency survival kit. It doesn't necessarily have everything one would need. It does pose um, does does keep a lot of what I need and what I use on a daily basis. It keeps everything you know right here at hand easy to get to, easy to get out of, which is important in this kind of a kit. Um, like I say, it's not fully an emergency kit. I gotta put the fishing thing back in there in a minute. But it does the job, keeps things handy, has everything I need. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.